In this video, we're going to talk about how to make box and whisker plots. Now, what you need to be able to do is you need to be able to identify five key data points in your data set. The first two are very straightforward. It's the minimum and the maximum. Now, the other three data points are the first quartile, the second quartile, and the third quartile. Now, once you have that, you can plot those things on a number line and then draw the box and whisker plot around that. So let me show you an example so you could see how this is going to work. So let's say we have the numbers 11, 22, 20, 14, 29, and then 8, 35, 27, 13, 49, 10, 24, and 17. So first, let's determine the three quartiles in addition to the minimum and the maximum. The first step is to arrange the numbers in ascending order. So the lowest number that we have here is 8, and then 10, and then 11. Now let's cross out those numbers. The next number is 13, and then 14, and then 17. After 17, we have 20, 22, 24, and 27. After that is 29, which we can see it here, 35, and then 49. So at this point, we have a total of 13 numbers in our list. Now, the first thing is to break the data into two equal parts. So let's calculate Q2, which is the median of the entire data set. So if we eliminate the first two numbers on both sides, and then if we keep doing that until we get the middle number, this will give us the median, which is 20. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line and then put 20 on top. So this is the second quartile. So now I have two equal parts of data. I have six numbers on the left side and six numbers on the right side. Now I need to find a median of the lower half of the data. So if I eliminate the first two and the last two, I mean the next two, I have two numbers in the middle. So the median is going to be the average of those two numbers. The average of 11 and 13 is 12. So this is Q1, the first quartile. Now the median will be between these two numbers. That is the median of the upper half of the data. So the average of 27 and 29 is 28. So that's Q3, the third quartile. So we have Q1, Q2, and Q3. Now the next thing we need to do is identify the minimum value and the maximum value. The minimum value is the lowest value in the data set, which is 8. And the maximum value is the highest value in the data set, which is 49. Now, we need to check to make sure that these two values are not outliers. Because if they're outliers, they're not going to be part of the box and whisker plot. They will exist outside of that. Now, what we need to do is we need to determine a range of numbers in which the outliers can't be. So it's going to be Q1 minus 1.5 times the IQR value to Q3 plus 1.5 times the IQR value. So any number that is outside of this range that is part of the data set is an outlier. Now, the IQR value the interquartile range is basically the difference between Q3 and Q1. 
So Q3 is 28, Q1 is 12. So the interquartile range is 16. So using this interval, it's going to be Q1, which is 12, minus 1.5 times 16. And then Q3 is 28 plus 1.5 times 16. Now let's get a calculator and plug these numbers in. So 12 minus 1.5 times 16, that's going to be negative 12. And then 28 plus 1.5 times 16, that's 52. So negative, I mean, not negative 8, but 8 is in this range. So 8 is not an outlier. It is the minimum of the data set. 49 is also between negative 12 and 52. So 49 is not an outlier. So now that we know we don't have any outliers, at this point we can draw the box plot or the box and whisker plot. Let's begin by creating a number line. The lowest value is 8 and the highest is 49. So let's start from 0 and let's go by tens until we get up to 50. So first, let's plot Q1. Q1 is 12, which is approximately right there. And then Q3 is 28, which is just under 30. And then draw a rectangle. Now Q2 is 20, so we're going to put a line here. So as you can see, this is Q1, Q2, and Q3. Now our next step is to plot the minimum, which is around 8. So there it is. And then the maximum is at 49. So we're going to put a line just below 50. And so that is the box and whisker plot that corresponds to the data set that we see here. So that's how you can draw it. But now what about if we had an outlier? How would that impact the box and whisker plot? So let's consider an example in which that's the case. So first, let's write out a list of numbers. Let's say we have the numbers 18, 34, 76, 29, 15, 41, 46, 25, 54, 38, 20, 32, 43, and then 22. So if you think you know what to do, feel free to pause the video and try it. So let's begin by putting the numbers in ascending order. So we have 15, 18, 20, and so here are those numbers. And then after 20, it's 22, and then 25, and then 29. After 29, it's 32, 34, 38, and 41. And then after that, it's going to be 43, 46, 54, and then the last one is 76. So we have a total of, let's see, this is 3, 6, 9, 12, 14 numbers. So we want to split it into two equal parts. Let's put a line between the 7th and the eighth number. So we got seven numbers on the left side, seven numbers on the right side. So the median is going to be the average of those two numbers. The average of 32 and 34 is 33. So this is the second quartile. Now we need to determine the median of these seven numbers, which is going to be the middle number. 22. But let's replace 22 with a line. So we can split the left side into two equal parts of three numbers. But I'm going to put 22 on top so you can see that it represents Q1, the median of the left side of the data. Now 43 is the middle number of these seven numbers. 
So let's do the same thing. Let's replace 43 with a line. And so this is going to be the third quartile. And we'll put 43 on top. So keep in mind, the quartiles, they divide the data into four equal parts. So we have four equal parts of three numbers. Now I'm going to put a comma between 46 and 54. So it doesn't look like 4,654. Our next step is to calculate the interquartile range. So it's Q3 minus Q1. So it's the difference between those two values. So it's 43 minus 22, which is 21. So that's our IQR value. I, excuse me, our next step is to see if we have any outliers. So first, let's calculate the range in which no outliers should exist. So Q1 is 22, and IQR is 21. Q3 is 43. Twenty two minus one point five times twenty one, that is equal to negative nine point five. And then forty three plus one point five times twenty one is seventy four point five. Now, are there any numbers in our list of numbers that is not in this range? 15 is in this range, but 76 is not. So therefore, 76 is an outlier. So we can't include that in the box in whisker plot. 76 will be outside of it. And so now we can plot the box in whisker plot. So let's start with a number line. So let's go up to 80. So this is going to be 0. We're going to say 80 is over here. So this is 40, and this is 20, and 60. And in between are 10, 30, 50, and 70. So let's start with Q1. Q1 is 22, which is just above 20. And Q2, I mean Q3 is 43, so that's going to be to the right of 40. So this is just a rough estimate. Now, Q2 is 33, which we're going to put here. So this is Q1, Q2, Q3. Now, our minimum value that is not an outlier is 15. The highest value that is not an outlier is 54. So we're going to plot those two numbers. 15 is right between 10 and 20. And then 54 is almost in the middle between 50 and 60 but a little bit close to 50 and so this is the minimum and this is the maximum that is not an outlier now to show the outlier all we need to do is basically put a point at 76 which should be somewhere around here and that's basically it so that's how you can show the outlier that exists basically outside of the box and whisker plot Thanks for watching.